Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to be doing some more work on the Bonneville here. Uh, I think what our plan is going to be is uh, just get everything plugged in and where we need it to be. We got some vacuum lines in here and Tristan actually cleaned up the surface of the intercooler. So we're not gonna be using any RTV, so it'll be really nice um, to get this on. We got some gaskets for Project F and we're just not gonna be able to use them. Um, because I don't know what I was saying. I bought like even an intercooler gasket and we don't even have an intercooler. Thank God you did so. Though. Yeah, we're gonna just, just have modify it a little bit. Already yeah. cut up. <clears throat> so that'll be fun. My Mustang is just getting some maintenance. The, the transmission pan was leaking a little bit. So I just drained everything and uh, filling it back up. So that's why you'll notice up there. I need to get the transmission up to temperature. We already got the uh, gasket on. I don't know if you want to lift this up and show them what it I looks like. Yeah, it's but not... uh, I can. No, it's fine. It's just the ZZP stuff, yeah. Um, so this will be much easier than the RTV. My God, that stuff's annoying as hell. Can't, uh, I gotta see if all the bolts are aligned. They're not, okay. We just good, think if, good start. if we can get everything wired up and stuff, the last things we need to do are the intercooler lines and the transmission lines. And uh, let me show you the transmission lines we're gonna be using here. I bought some uh, HPS silicone uh, heater hose. So this stuff is actually like really strong as well as uh, just designed for it. It's uh, one inch lines are massive. So, so how much uh, they cost? Uh, 80 bucks for 10 feet of it. But I mean, one foot or sorry, one inch intercooler lines are just heater hose lines are not common at all. You can't really get it at any store. Like Tristan went to Harbor Freight and uh, <laughs> They were like ribbed. They were like for a pool, kind of like this right over here. Um, so not very good for flow. This will flow really well. This is what I bought for my Mustang. Um, my Mustang's not ready for the supercharger. So uh, Tristan might be able to use it. I also have some other 3.8 line. Then we see the inch and a half line for his. Uh... Well, you have inch and a half line on it already, don't you? Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. That's but that's only those like little things that come off the radiator. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah. Yep. So. Uh, He's just gonna be working on this for now. Just getting all the lines good. Yeah, cleaning out the threads, that's a good idea. It's got a bunch of RTV in it. Yeah. To get that out of it. And then, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna work on. We're just gonna get some stuff plugged in. I might start on the transmission side here, get the shifter linkage on and some other stuff plugged in. So yeah, Hopefully we're gonna... we can get the supercharger all bolted up today and then, yeah, start uh, plugging everything in. I noticed that this, had, oh, the yeah. block had started rusting. Hopefully it it didn't rust in the cylinders. I think it should be fine. <laughs> Just use some uh, breaking oil and stuff. But Might want to cut this out a little bit more. Doesn't really line up really well. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and start working on that. All right, guys, we have the gasket all lined up here. The problem, or the, the thing with doing all this is uh, it's like you get to sandwich so much stuff, like a gasket, intercooler gasket, then the supercharger, and then you have to line it all the way up to the bolt holes, the reach, so. It's a lot easier if you do RTV because uh, RTV will hold it in place. There at that point, you just put the, you get the, the intercooler and the supercharger lined up. You don't have to get two additional gaskets lined yep. up. Yep. Huge pain in the ass. And that's why we're going to be doing this two hand, or two people. Yep. This is how we do it even with the, uh, even with the uh, RTV. We set the supercharger on with two people so we can get lined up. Everything's lined up now. All we got to do is set it gently on the bolt holes. So I look to be lined up on Same. these three bolts. Oh. I'm gonna set it down. Cool. I'm in the right place too, I think. Okay, let's check. Where... Oh shit! It looks mostly lined up. I think and some bolts in here. Through. I think some bolts in there will. Uh, yeah. Yep. There we go. How's that hitting gasket? Was that thread? <laughs> yeah. Right. Can't actually tell. I think that's hitting gas or something. Yeah, well, we're going to mess with this and get everything aligned, but that's the struggle that we're dealing with with this. But it's cool seeing the supercharger on it finally. Finally, yeah. I'm going to get something to lay on. All right, guys, we uh, got all the bolt holes lined up, torquing down the supercharger now. That's nice. the last one. That's, They're all torqued down. That's amazing. That's all green team. I don't want to touch Damn, there. there's like no room for... Yeah, yeah. 
He had bigger fittings than even fit. <laughs> it sucked. Where does this line go to? Um, goes back to some of them over here? Yeah. Yep. This one goes to the map sensor, and then this one goes to... I guess we got the fuel rails on now, right? Yeah, we can. Injectors and... I just need to figure... I just need to find the nuts. They're probably around up here somewhere. Yeah, Do you I have think a magnet? Because really I tiny. need a magnet to put some of them on. I'm, I don't know, not around here. Probably in the toolbox. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna need that. But the supercharger is on. All right, guys, uh, we're back. We've gotten this fuel rail on. We're getting the bypass or the blow off valve, whatever you call it. I mean, I want to cross that. Nope. I uh, totally messed up Tristan's engine. It's probably gonna be a part out now, unfortunately. Just kidding. The uh, fuel rail bolt that goes in right here, uh, it cross threaded and actually snapped in half there. We have the other bolt in, so we're gonna see if that holds it down enough. Otherwise, we will have to take this whole intercooler system and uh, supercharger out and uh, tap that out. Um, it is actually starting to rain again, so... Uh, oh, damn it. Yeah. Fucking Mother Nature. I know. Literally all week has been sunny, and the rest of this week is supposed to be sunny Saturdays or just the days that it rains. So Anyway, we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean this all up and get the hood back on. There's not much we can really do. We didn't bring the canopy, or at least it's not set up, so... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish up with this little stuff and cover it real real fast. All right, guys, it is uh, now just starting to really come down. We got everything out of here, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We got the, got the supercharger on. I'll give you a little sneak peek. I don't wanna raise the hood too much. Oh God, it's so much rain. This is so annoying. Literally every time we work on a car now, it's raining. It's not supposed to, well, it wasn't supposed to, it was supposed to be 80s today, but uh, yeah, the the rain here just uh, happens on Saturdays only. The, the rest of the forecast, like all last week, except for Saturday, it was raining. And it's raining again today, so there's not there's really not much else we can do at the moment with everything. Um, Tristan should have like intercooler lines and what you know, whatever else we need. And uh, Tristan's actually gonna have uh, like a full week off, full nine days off, so we'll I, s I swear we'll have to finish it, like, in that time. We'll have so much time to work on it. The only the only thing I can see making it not, like, not be able to be finished in that time is just a part not being able yep. to be had. Yep. And that's really the only thing. Because stuff breaks, like today, you know. Uh, and it sucks. Didn't get enough. It's it's literally, like, every day it's like, eh, didn't get a mu as much progress as you wanted. Yep. But it's like, you start working on a car... And you're like, oh, I could get all this done. And then one part gives you, like, trouble for an hour. And you're like, this motherfucker, come off. Yeah. Or go on. Whatever. And so it was just more of that. But uh, I couldn't even get everything plugged in because the supercharger took time and all that. So that's a little disappointing. But that's all right. We're going to be making a lot of progress real quick. So. Yeah, once, once uh, Tristan's off, we'll be able to do tons of work on the... On the car and uh, the Mustang, I did drove a test drove it and stuff. It looked good. It was actually incredibly overfilled with trans fluid. I don't know how all this fluid was like not needed. I guess so. Um, yeah, my mistake, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end it off. Uh, buy a Jerry Garage sticker, three dollars and fifty cents. We need a shop, guys. <laughs> it's so bad. Buying our stickers will we, get us a shop. <laughs> our garage literally is not deep enough to even bring a car in here. Not, not let alone just the amount of room we have in here is limited. But just yeah, buy your stickers, guys, please. Yep. Jeez. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it off. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. We're desperate for a shop. <laughs>